Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's two weeks purse London, so I'm just gonna do like a little bit of a recap, like what's next, um, all that sort of stuff. So I'm just currently out on the trails on the Wolds Relay. Um, last year we put a team together, our club, to do the Wolds Relay, and this year we've got another. We've got two teams in this year. I'm not taking part. Um, this year just because I wasn't sure what I was I was doing coming back off my injury and stuff so I'm on a support crew so I've just dropped Stuart and John off to practice John's leg so I've just parked at the other end it's a nine mile leg um, and I was going to sort of do a gentle jog to him um, slash walk but I think what I thought I'll do is just do some filming and do a nice little walk because um, we're out in the countryside and just this is where we are. It is so peaceful and so quiet. Look. So I thought I'd do like a little bit of like a catch up of where we are. So obviously it's been two weeks since London. I have to say this is probably the worst I have felt after a marathon in a long time. Um, it's really taking it out of me. I'm struggling a bit with my running just to sort of get going. I'm sort of just like staying one pace and um, feel like it's a lot of effort, but um, a steadier pace. So I'm hoping as I start to rest up in the coming weeks, I will get my pace back. But other than that, yeah, obviously I spoke a lot in my London video anyway. So I won't go into all that. Um, you know, I did. I really loved London. It was It was really good. Um, I haven't put in for the ballot next year um, only because I did it in 2022 and 2024 so I mean I'm just gonna have a bit of a break of, of attempting the ballot and everything and obviously I didn't put in for the ballot yet they got like a massive record didn't they of entrance ridiculous um, and obviously next year they're looking at trying to accept 70,000 people and break the record for the most amount um, a bit crazy because oh my god it was busy this year but you know there's a demand I guess I just think um don't go too wild because that's when it becomes a bit too chaotic but we'll see we'll see when the ballot I don't even know when the ballot results are out but good luck for those that have entered the ballot and um, for those that have not done London it's definitely one you have to tick off so um good luck with that but yeah so for me, I obviously, with what's next, uh, for those that follow the channel I'm on Instagram will know that I have New York in November. Now, New York was my main marathon goal for this year. Um, I got into London through the club place. I wasn't expecting it. I only found out 19 weeks before London. So it was a bit of a chaotic turnaround um, from not expecting to do a marathon in November to doing one. Um, I'm preparing for one in a week and starting training because obviously through Chicago I'd suffered quite bad injury so this training was sort of like as if starting fresh so obviously I've got no, New York in November um, and I probably aim to start training I think it's 18 weeks like from the beginning of July so I'll probably look at middle of July I don't know how long a block to do um, I'll just sort of go from there but I'm just going to sort of gauge how these next sort of um, couple of months go um, and then go from there um, really so yeah around July will be the time I start um, and obviously my plan is to sort of keep building into it now obviously when I start feeling better so that I can have a solid training block just make sure I'm going the right way solid training block like I did for Berlin now obviously I only started blogging when I think my first sort of videos were Berlin and a few parkrun videos so I'd only sort of got my camera in the summer so I didn't do any filming of my Berlin training my Berlin training was solid, like that was the hardest I've worked with, you know, running five, six times a week, hill sessions, speed sessions. I really put my heart and soul into it and it paid off because I came away with a 4.51, 4 hours 51, a huge 48 minute PB. It was exactly 48 minutes as well to like not even over seconds, exactly 48 minutes. Um, 
and I knew I had it in me, I just needed to work hard for it. And then obviously I did London a week later and I did that like sort of 25 minutes slower. So I was really, really on form. And obviously, yes, I battled injury with Chicago, but I want to get back feeling fitter and stronger. Um, so that is my plan for New York. I don't know if I will chase a PB at New York. It's a difficult one because New York is ridiculously hilly. It starts with a massive hill, there's massive hills throughout, and then it ends on a huge hill. Um, it's what I've been told, and obviously I've watched the blocks. It's one of the hillier of the majors behind Boston. But then again, Stuart always says to me, you run better on hills. And I do, I do run well on hills. I am a strong hill runner. It's one of those ones that I know I actually am. Um, I'm not particularly fast on the hills. I just know I can always run them. I just, I, I do, I do well, weirdly. I don't know why, um, you know, like Great North has always been my race other than last year when I did it four days after a car accident, but let's forget that one. Other than that, like Great North has always been my run, even when they did the um, fake route, the out and back when that was like ridiculously hilly i pb'd on that and i just i don't know i don't know if i just use the hills well and then obviously can use the downhills to pick up the pace who knows so i'm not ruling it out i don't think i will pb chase but i would definitely definitely like to be under or near the five hours you know i would like to have a faster time than london so i did uh, 5 18 I would really want that. So around five hours, obviously, my PB is quite a bit under, well, quite a bit under um, five hours. Obviously, it's 4.51. That's nine minutes under. So I would like to be between that and five hours, but we're going to see. So I'm going to put everything I can into New York, be sensible with my knee, you know, and obviously with Berlin as well, I did a lot of trail running, which made me a stronger runner. Um, obviously, my local park run is a trail run. Um, so we were running the trails and then finishing off on that. I need to do that because I, I obviously I lacked a bit with Chicago and then I got injured and then because I'd got injured I sort of just was like well what's the point so my training sort of it was a difficult one I, I really lost like well I don't really know how to word it I just I lost, I lost my head a bit with it I guess um, ooh, it's a bit of a steep step hill then there's an arrow out this way there's like no one around I think I can hear horses I'm not sure I can hear something it sounds like horses <laughs> oh it's a bit muddy here so yeah I'm gonna give it my all I think I really want to um, I'm just checking there's like no horses are gonna like appear behind me but yeah, so that, that's obviously the main goal for this year. New York is November the 2nd, I believe. Yes. Um, I think it is, yeah, because Stuart's birthday is November the 1st. So he wearing New York for his birthday. So we did London for my, New York for his. So um, out, <laughs> out we wild doing bloody birthday marathons. But yeah, so... And the train now and obviously the training i haven't got a lot booked i need to race Stuart tells me all the time i need to race i've got so out of racing now um i used to <laughs> love it i used to thrive off it but i've just lost confidence with pushing myself massively and i think i just found too much pressure i put too much pressure on myself i was like hitting quite quick times over some of the distances and then 110k I had a bad run where I finished over an hour and then that was it my head was gone and I've not really ever gone under the hour again and I don't try so if I do a 10k I just don't even try I just lose my head I just I'm so I'm too hard on myself I know I am um you know it's just Sorry, I'm just checking. Uh, I know I'm too hard on myself. Like I do torture myself over it and just think that I'm just not good enough for it and everything. So I just lose everything. So it's, re it's really frustrating. 
you know, in, in 2022, when I got my half marathon, my Berlin Marathon PB, I had PB'd like in every distance apart from 5k that year. So it was like a fantastic build up. Like I did 10k, then I did 10 mile, then I did half marathon, and then I went in strong to Berlin. So, you know, it's, it was a good year, and I think sometimes I hold on to that a bit too much more than I should do. Um, when really I should just look forward and not back. You know, it's, I think, how could I even run those times? But, oh, bloody flies. Um, but yeah, I do need to start looking forward of what I can do and getting back into shape. And obviously back then, I ate a bit better as well. You know, I wasn't, I wouldn't say my diet is perfect. You know, I, I suffer a lot with my IBS and stuff. So I end, I end up just eating like sort of rubbish that I know I can stomach and then it's not good rather than having proper meals. I just get frustrated with being poorly all the time. And it's just not good. I need to get in a routine of being healthier. I am not bothered about my weight. I know I'm not the slimmest, you know. I am a chunkier runner. And I don't really care about that. I don't care how I look. I know that losing a bit of weight and being healthier will help. I'm not stupid. Like, um, obviously having a knee injury and having this bit of extra weight isn't going to help. So probably shifting the little bit of weight I've put on since Berlin will help. And I probably should try do that, which I'm going to try. Um, but we'll see. I'll try my best with it and just say. So I'll do I'll do all that. Try get back into a bit more healthier habits. Um, and just, you know, less pressure on myself, but actually racing. So I'm obviously, my next race is Grimsby 10k, which is in June. Um, now I normally pace this one every single year. I love pacing it. Um, but this year I'm not. John has bought me an entry and he's going to pace me. So John, me and John always do a 10k together every year where he paces me. Not, it used to be the Valentine's 10k and then obviously they scrapped the Valentine's 10k and made it the North Links 10k, which happens on the same day as the North Links half now. So they do like a double. Um, but this year we was asked to pace the half marathon. I can't be doing a bad job of pacing if I'm being asked to pace. Why is it taking me down here? Oh, look at this. We're all in the open. I'll turn it around once I finish this bit. Um, so we was asked to pace and we were like, oh, what do we do? Because we always do our 10k together. So do we do that? But then we decided to pace the half because what an opportunity it was for Amanda to ask us. So um, we were like, we'll find a different 10k. So then John was like, well, why don't we do Grimsby? Um, and I was like, oh, okay, because it is my, like, comfort of pacing. Um, so John's going to pace me. We've done it. This will be the third year we've sort of done this together. He's paced me on, like, a 10 mile and stuff. But it's always something we've sort of done. Um, now, in 2022, he paced me to my 10k PB, which is currently 56.09. Um, I don't know how I did that. And then last year, uh, I did 57 minutes. So it wasn't drastically off, um, considering... So, um, yeah, I can't I can do it, but I literally do one fast 10k a year, and that's it. So I probably should pull my finger out a little bit more for it. Um, but, so I'm going to try, look at some local races. So obviously, if anyone knows any local decent races uh, in Yorkshire, between now and sort of September, October time, let's say, any sort of 10Ks, half marathons, 10 milers, please do drop them in the comments because I am going to try and get some more races under my belt. I think that's what I need. I think like going into London with no races prior to that, well, I did Ferriby 10 and Snake Lane, which both felt I felt terrible on. I'd sort of gone in like, you know, I went into London feeling good, but I'd gone in having negative races. So it's not good. It messes with my head too much. I need to get in a positive mindset. So yeah, let me know if there's any good at races because I do need to just, I sort of just need to push myself out the comfort zone. Because even things like parkrun, I never run fast at parkrun, ever. I've done, you know, my, my 5k BB doesn't even match my parkrun PB. My 5k PB is 26 minutes. My fastest I've ever done a parkrun is 28. Now when I did my 
10k pb of 56 minutes i my split within that for a 5k was 27 so my splits within a 10 when i race 10k is faster than my park run but i just can't run fast at park run i just can't i just like my legs just don't go fast at park run i don't understand i'll set off with the intention and it just doesn't happen I don't know, I just don't think parkrun is for me for PB chasing and especially at Hull Parkrun where obviously my parkrun journey started I know the course so well that I just, my head goes and I know it always goes so I obviously got my parkrun PB at Heslington um, when I did that well I think that was also 2022 to be honest um, but even then it wasn't near my PB I should easily I, should, I don't know, I don't even know where I'm at with a 5k, that's a really difficult one. I don't know if I could even do 26 minutes, I just uh, need to try. Maybe I need to do a 5k race, I don't know, I don't know if that would help. I don't know, I just feel like I'm a much stronger runner over the longer distances. Um, it doesn't make sense that I hit faster times for the lower times within the longer distance, if that makes sense. Um, I just feel more comfortable. I just feel more comfortable running sort of 10 miles half marathons more than anything else but I don't know I know that some people will relate to that I'm just not I just find like running for 5k and being in pain for 5k is horrible and Stuart will thrive off it and do really well but I just I just no it's not for me don't know how people do it I just find that you're in pain non-stop from start to finish with it and I hate it so definitely not a short distance fast runner that's for sure so yeah i'm gonna try look out for some more races to just try i guess um i am too i am like a chatter and a plodder that's my problem i do love it but i'll just stop here to show you because i've just walked down this big hill and look at this how peaceful it is no one in sight at all so peaceful don't know if you can see but behind this fence there's just like a little deer it's not spotted me yet it's looking the other way there it goes look how beautiful is that i think it actually wanted to hop over the fence and me filming it spooked it a little bit um, but it's just in here to my left now so I will move on so it can come the way it wants to come but yeah how nice is that love seeing deer and I think it I don't even know what time it is I think it's like coming on to nine o'clock so and it's just so peaceful and beautiful this is like my sort of Sunday me and the deer have just like come face to face and absolutely made each other drum. It's a shame I literally just stopped recording. It was literally just there and like I heard this like whoof noise and then it just like ran out and then ran back in panic. But it made me jump because I wasn't expecting like this really loud noise it made. So I think it's ran back in there a bit startled and my heartbeat's now raised as well. So I like came round here to avoid it and then he's, he's come round here as well. So yeah, oh, I can see another one actually, which I thought I would because they always do come in twos or threes. It's just going to be between these trees, look. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. It's running now. I keep getting my phone out to take a picture, but then they keep running, obviously. don't know where its friend is unless that one is the one I've just startled. Deary me. Upsetting the wildlife today. I'm going to walk back the way I came because I've walked a mile now and I don't know how long Stuart and John will be they're doing like nine miles but um, I've been out here for like 20 odd minutes just well more than that probably just hanging around taking pictures and walking very slowly while I film so by the time I get back they could be coming in hopefully so yeah I'm just taking in the view it's absolutely gorgeous what a beautiful Sunday morning. I've just plonked myself on top of the hill. 
uh, I should be able to see them coming in I don't think they'll be much longer um, so I'll just sort of round this video off really with like what's next for the channel so obviously I've got nothing major coming up I gained a few new subscribers since my London video so thank you so much to those that have uh, just joined me and obviously thank you to everyone for the support of the London series um, it, it got more like sort of views and interaction than I thought so I do really really appreciate it that uh, people are watching little old me run around Yorkshire really doing training so thank you so much everyone for the support so like what's next I'll probably now it's getting to nicer weather I'll probably get back to some parkrun tourism and get some parkrun videos out I love a good parkrun video so I've not done one for a long time so I'll do that obviously I'll have my New York training series coming out later in the summer and then I'll just probably sort of see where I go with races vlog a bit of them um, and just go from there really but I'm really enjoying the vlog inside um, again so I definitely want to get some more videos out in the coming weeks hopefully some more like happy parkrun videos a bit of fun um, you know something different away from the serious marathon training so yeah I'm really excited um, to do something some of that like where I started it really you know I started with the park runs and then went into sort of the marathon training so um, I'll go with that really but yeah thank you all for your support on this channel I really really appreciate it um, so yeah let, let's see what these coming weeks bring um, don't forget to leave in the comments any races you um, recommend in the area but yeah yeah i can't believe like the whole london series is over like it was wild from getting in and having like no time to do in all the training and then it's here now two weeks and it's it's been and gone so yeah it, it's been a, a crazy ride but thank you for joining me on it and um i'll be back i'll be back with some more stuff but obviously if there's anything you want to see from me do you leave in the comments let me know obviously I did put out that I would do a world major video about like my journey so far on the world majors because I've obviously got three stars um, like how you go about becoming a six star finisher um, all the different ways to get into the races and just a bit of information about them all I did get a lot of like people wanting that and I promise I will do it it just takes a lot and I'm a blabber so I need to make sure I script it right so I don't overdo it so I promise I'll probably try to get that out in the coming weeks actually sit down and really get it done because obviously I had a lot of interest and I know it will interest a lot of people on that six star journey like myself so that will be a big video I promise I will get out but until then we'll see what the next video is maybe a parkrun video who knows but yeah thanks again for all your support and of course I will see you next time on the channel oh, 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 I need